Hi sweets! Today's video is going to be a more natural prom slash pageant glam. Tonight's in a CHS pageant, so I wanted to film my little get ready with me on how I'm doing my makeup for tonight. This is more of just a brown smoky eye that's going to be kind of achievable for everybody. If you want to see this look and you like how it is or you want this beat for prom, go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so today we're going to start with brows first. I like to use this new brow product by Anastasia. It's Relieve Their Brow Pomade Gel. It's in this little spoolie. Spoolie like wand, but it's basically dip brow in liquid form. I like to hit my angled brush through the spoolie with the product on it. Brush my brow hairs up first and then go in. And this is super super pigmented today the look i'm trying to give you guys not something super dramatic but something like wearable but nothing too out of the box so basically tonight is our school's pageant miss chs pageant and i won last year so tonight it's my last hurrah i'm passing off my crown on all that good stuff a lot of people, they always ask, what goes on for Miss CHS? What do you guys do? What does it entail? Is it hard? Is it scary? And the answer is yes and no. They don't have a talent portion, so you don't have to be talented to <laughs> try out or do it. Girl, the shade, the shade of it all. So they do interviews in the morning, and then the pageants at night, and the pageant entails casual wear, on stage question, and evening wear. Now I'm really going in messy with this brow. Sorry not sorry. Instead of going in with my angled brush, I'm just taking the spoolie that has the product on it straight from the tube and going through the brows. To clean up my brow, I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Concealer in shade 140. And I'm gonna work with it off the back of my hand and clean up this thick mess. Going horizontally to clean up the bottom of my brow. Going kind of upwards because I like to slant my brow up before I curve it towards the tail and flick it straight out. Then just going back in with that same product to layer it over our original, original. <laughs> Illiterate! To layer it over our original concealer line and curving it out in the front so it's not such a harsh straight line. Now I have hooded eyes so I really don't like to make my brow super thick so if I make it really thick then it's going to take up a small eyelid space I already have. So I like to fill in according to my hair and then go back in and basically like erase with the concealer. And then dragging that concealer down to blend it into the eye. Now I'm going to lightly, because I really don't want dramatic brows, you do want to keep it kind of natural for a pageant, but I'm hating off my crown, I'm not competing, so I'm going to really do my makeup however I want. I'm going to keep the eye really muted, but the brows, I really like a strong brow, especially because I have black hair, so it's really hard to do natural brows with a deep hair color. Again, extending that concealer above, so whenever you put foundation, it blends even close to the brow where you cleaned it up. So I like to fill in my brow really messily, clean it up with concealer, and then any bare patches I like to go back in and fill it in or clean it up. So I feel this brow is done. This is the shape that I want. It's the darkness that I want. So now I'm gonna do the other brow off camera and then we'll bring you a little bit closer and we'll do eyes. I'm going to prime my eyes with the P. Louise base in 0.5. This is more of a skin tone that I'm working off the back of my hand with. So I just like to drag it across the eye and then since we already cleaned up underneath the brow with concealer, we're not going to extend this primer all the way up there. I like to drag it in and even cover this curve of the nose because we're going to blend it out with our fingers. So go ahead and tap, tap the product into the eye so it's going to hide any of that discoloration. Now I'm going to go in with this eyeshadow trio 
by Smashbox. This is a nudie pick light by Smashbox. This trio has some really good neutrals in it. It's got your light transition color, a deeper brown to darken the crease, and then a light highlight shade, which those are really the only three that we're gonna work with. I always like to tell people to stick with cool tone shadows for pictures and stuff. So say if you wanted to do your makeup for senior pictures, you would wanna stick with these cool tone sort of browns so you don't have like orange eyeshadow or anything with like a red or like a burnt orange undertone. So I'm packing that color on the outside first. And then I'm gonna start doing side to side motions. So you start extending it across the lid. Then circular motions to blend out this outer part. So windshield wiper motions to extend that shadow across the lid. And whenever I get to the inner corner, instead of circular motions in there and getting really muddy in this crease, I like to just kind of drag it in. I take it from the front of the brow in towards the eyeshadow. So you're still getting color, but you're basically doing the blending for yourself by using this motion. So now that we have a nice color base, we're going to deepen the outer corner with that dark brown in the trio. And I'm going in with, this is actually just a brush that I found in like a TJ Maxx like <laughs> little thing. Tapping that dark brown on the outside. It always looks really muddy to begin with until you blend it out, but I like to pack that color on there and make sure that color payoffs there before I blend it into my other one. And barely flicking it up over that brow bone. So going in with that brush we used for that first light brown transition shade, just going over that. Still going in with that deeper brown, packing that color, bringing it further in towards the eye. Then circular motions to blend those two colors together. So basically we are going to keep it matte, that's why I'm only using like brown tones as well because I have three different dress changes and they're all different colors so you want something that's not going to clash with any of them or any certain dress. You need to look like you planned ahead, which <laughs> I did. <laughs> now I'm going in with the lightest shade. I'm taking that light shade and I'm packing it on the inner third of the eye so all that dark can be brightened back up. And we're kind of doing a similar shape that you would do with like a cut crease, but with shadow. So you're not actually carving into the eye with any liquids. You're just going in with powders. Whenever I do eyes like this, I like to extend it more up into this curve. So my eye is really narrow. I'll brush it out of my crusty eyelashes. Okay, so now I'm packing some more of that 0.5 in the P. Louise base that I used in the beginning to prime my eye, just to kind of provide a sticky base for this white shadow that I'm about to do. It's more of like a cream, yellow undertone sort of, but I'm just packing some of that cream on there so we can have an easier blend. Being very light as I bring it in towards the browns and the deep black brown shadows that I already put on my lid. Kind of like how I did with the other brown shadow, I'm going out in so there's not a drastic line because I don't want this to be a cut crease. I just want this to be a base for the white shadow we're applying. Now going in with the shadow, pressing down onto the eye. And this is what's gonna open up the eye and extend it outwards. Now I'm going in with the little flat brush. It's gonna work as our blending source for the dark brown and the white. Literally just going back and forth. Then we're going back in with that dark shade. So for any of the color that might have gone away, we're repacking that. Now these shadows really aren't that pigmented, which I'm kind of bummed about, but I like to use them because of the color palette that they offer and the simplicity of it already being a trio and already having the three colors that you need to complete a look. So I wanted to use it today for you guys. This palette's actually really cheap and affordable and it does work if you're not that confident in 
your skills in matching colors and undertones buying like a little eyeshadow trio like that it's really good to start out with and be a beginner and work off of I'm just taking that brush that we used in the very beginning that really has nothing on it and I'm just extending it over that white that we carried in the front okay so I really like how the shape is and I'm gonna keep this shape and I'm going to do the other eye off camera come back with lashes on and we'll go from there okay I'm gonna prime my face with the new milk hydro primer it's another gripping primer like I used in the last video the cover effects one I highly suggest gripping primers because it's truly going to make your makeup stay on a lot longer than any other regular primer would. Um, my reaction to winning last year, I was really excited because I lost every other year I did it. I did it freshman year, lost. Sophomore year, lost. And then I did it last year and I finally won. So I was like, kind of a full circle moment and I was like, oh wow, like this all paid off. And the $800 I spent on my dress I wore that year, it was worth it. Today, for my foundation, I'm mixing fair and light in the milk foundation. So now I'm going in with my favorite foundation that our Lake City Sephora discontinued. Really heated about that. And I'm stippling it onto my face. I'm kind of excited just for tonight because I don't have to have any of the stress of competing. So I just get to have a bunch of costume changes and look nice for nothing. I still get to keep my crown and my sash and just put a new one on somebody. Make sure not to forget your ears whenever you're doing this because if you had an updo or if you're wearing your hair in a bun like this, how I have my hair now, you don't want to have a beat face and then like red naked ears because that's ugly. Now going in with Fenty in 140 and Milk Concealer in Light. My Fenty one is a lot lighter than my Milk one, so I'm putting the lightest shade right in the center of my face. And I'm going in with my Milk one, which is more of just a lighter version of my skin tone, and doing it underneath so it'll easily transition from lightest to nudest. I'm going in with my Beauty Blender and just blending that all out. This year we're having the most girls we had in recent years actually compete. Last year it was only like six girls that competed and then this year we have eight so it jumped which is really good. So once you blend that all out we'll set it with translucent powder and then we'll go into our under eye with shadow and we'll put mascara and then we'll be done with the eyes and then we can move on to the powders of the face. Going in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder tapping the excess powder out. <laughs> Going in with my little powder puff that comes with it. Packing powder all over my face, mainly in those points where we highlighted. Now we're gonna brush away that excess powder with a big fluffy brush. All right, we're going back in with the Smashbox Trio to finish out this lower lash line. We're going in with that light transition shade and we're bringing it all the way underneath the lash line all the way to the inner corner stamping it on the outside and then lightly dragging it towards the inside now we're going to go in with a fluffier brush we're going in with that deeper shade just on this outside to connect it to the depth that we had in the same area on the lid all right so that's how we want it to connect and lift the eye instead of drooping it down lifting it, giving you the whole fantasy. Let's do the other side, pop on some mascara, and we'll move into contour. Now I'm going to go in with the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Bronzer. This is actually brand new. That's why the pan hasn't even been pressed or anything, so I'm really excited to use it. It smells amazing. So I'm really hoping the color payoff, like I thought, would be amazing. And it's like really soft. It's not too warm. It's not too light. I really like this. I figured this would be softer than my Tawny in AB, like by ABH. So I'm packing the color near the hairline like I usually do. Kind of swirling upwards, but going side to side. 
to get it in that cheekbone. Yeah, we're keeping the bronze warm, but still light enough where it truly looks like the natural shadows on your face. Because this is a pageant, you're gonna have bright lights on you. You don't wanna look full beat, like you're there for a drag show. You wanna look natural. Again, don't forget your ears, even with bronzer. I'm not putting a lot of powder underneath my cheekbones because I still want it to be very soft and woman-like. Now that we're baking, we're going to move on to blush while this kind of sets into the skin. And then hopefully we'll make it out of here because I'm already late. I'm going in with this Palm Springs blush. I got this in my Ipsy a long time ago, but this is the Palm Springs blush by... The Balm Cosmetics. I really don't know what shade, so sorry. Don't come for me. I do want to be sort of blushing and have that flush of pink in my cheeks. Now we're going in with highlight. I'm going in with Anastasia Amrezi. I like to go sideways and hit the cheek and then turn my brush flat and go up and down with the brush. So then it's not just a straight line across your face and it's actually kind of like a blend and it hits more than just the cheekbone. It blends into that contour and the blush. I'm gonna take my pinky and just tap right on the tip of the nose and tap right down the center. I don't like to go all the way down the center. I just like to do it kinda in the middle-ish where the brows meet. Cause I don't want just that straight line of highlight right down. I just like it kinda highlight in the center. Okay, and don't highlight the forehead because greasy foreheads never look good, so just don't highlight the forehead thinking that it's gonna make it better. If you have a greasy forehead, you just have a greasy forehead. Don't accentuate it with powder. I like. So what I just put on the lips was Melo Cosmetics Matte Lip Paint in Taran, and I'm going to go on top of it with Miss Fame Beauty Flash of Flesh. I don't want my lipstick to be too brown and not be too dark or too light, so this mixture kind of gives you that perfect undertone of a warmth where your lips are still visible, but it's still very much of a nude. Now I'm going to use the NYX Cosmetics Dewy Finish Spray to make my skin super glowy, and then I'm going to mix that. I'm gonna let this dry down a little bit still not letting it set all the way and then we're going to top it off with a couple spritz of the matte because this is more long lasting than the NYX one but it's really a good combination so I still have glowy skin but it's going to be super matte and stay on throughout the whole night now that we have the face done we're going to go to the school and get our hair done we might include some clips of hair being done but we'll see we're going to go into a vlog style so we'll see you guys at the school outro if you liked this video you like this look then like subscribe come back and watch me but for your results of the pageant your new Miss CHS 2019 is Ellie Hickson good job girl I'm glad you won if you watched this video but this is the look hope you enjoyed the night now we're I want to sleep. <laughs> oh, fuck, I fucked up my brow. My brow looks rusty. Soundtrack, soundtrack. Gander Mountain, hunt, fish, camp. Girl, you want to back that up. <laughs> Girl, you want to back that up. <laughs> I just dropped my eyeshadow on Ellie. <laughs>
He literally. Give me a second just so I can look. Ellie, you nasty bitch. Ugh! <laughs> that smell is so bad. Ellie, you can't just fart when you're comfortable. That's gross. Oh. Oh my god! <laughs> it smells so bad. Ellie! It literally smells so bad. Get up! Get up! Come on. Come on. Get up. She's not gonna move. Yes, she will. Hey, you gotta get out. Come on. You want food? Your butthole stinks. You want food? <laughs> it's because you gave her the axe piece. <laughs> she was too happy. And then this fan just like circulating up through the room. Just straight sewage. <laughs> <laughs> But at least you can cover your nose. I just have to say, you're like, <laughs> everything is good. <laughs> and we're going to pack it on. <laughs> you don't have anything to say about that? I don't. That's really gross. We know you're a rat. Yeah, Ellie. Now Ellie wants to leave after she freaking farted on us. Don't stretch like that. Don't expose it. Don't expose the hole. Or if you're in the pageant, or a pageant, do this look. You'll win, like me. <laughs> I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to play. I know. Cut, whore! <laughs> I had pepper in my teeth. Oh. Make sure you turn your finger off. Wow, unprofessional, mom. That's why you can't be in the filming studio. How dare you move that background? <laughs> It's not me, that's Crackhead, look at him. Oh, stop him. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> come on, come oh on, come on. Oh my god. Got a lot of, featuring a lot of surface area tonight. <laughs> Cause I have a big ass forehead. <laughs> I can't deny it. I'm just kidding, <laughs> you don't have a big forehead. You do. <laughs> no we don't, Noah said I have a proportional forehead. You do. You have a very oval face. I hate my face. Me too. <laughs> Your face. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> You're terrible. That was literally the meanest laugh too. You sound like <laughs> <laughs> Give up that easy hump. You give it up, baby. <laughs> Cause honey, what you see isn't, isn't always, always the truth. truth. Cause baby boy. No, I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm Roxy Andrews and I'm here to make it clear. Please. <laughs> I heard it focus. <laughs> rat tail. Let me be the rat tail to your full head of hair. Oh. I got my three reveals. <laughs> got, got my three reveals. Making my little speech. Leave with my crown. <laughs> Bye. You're just gonna never be on that mom life like channel. Down the neck. Down the chest. Down the tit. <laughs> you are a nasty whore. And you aren't? No. Not on God's Day. God's Day. <laughs> Saturday. <laughs> the only God I believe in. My Jesus RuPaul. <laughs> Queen Jesus and his Musgraves. I like to wake up and press coke on my face in the mornings. Okay, not funny. <laughs> like, put the drums in. Introducing Juggernaut tits to the stage. I don't know how people don't wear blush. It's should truly be a staple in everyone's makeup in the mornings. That's why you're ugly. <laughs> That's terrible! I'm just kidding, you're not that ugly. Like. I'm That's so why you look so dead. That's. I'm kind of like funny sometimes. Or bad. Didn't, want to, didn't know you wanted me to back it up like that, okay? I only back it up for a real one. Make my own ice cream video. If you know what I'm talking about when I say the ice cream video, please comment below. <laughs> Love saying that. It's all this talent, goddammit. <laughs> it's because of all this talent, goddammit. Facts are facts, America.
And you popped out of the womb. <laughs> like, come your mom. You're like, dusty crusted looking doctor. <laughs> Girl, look how orange you look, girl.